with Android 7, Google introduced a new layout that is intended to address many of the shortcomings of the older layout managers and this new layout called constraint layout here. So uh, this constraint layout combines a simple, expressive and flexible layout system with the powerful features built into the Android Studio Layout Editor tool to ease the creation of responsive user interface layouts that adapt automatically to a different screen sizes and changes in device orientation. This uh, section will outline the basic concept of constraint layout while the next lectures will provide a detailed and professional overview of how constraint based layout can be created using the uh, constraint layout within the Android Studio Layout Editor or Kotlin code. So let's get started. My name is Typhoon. Welcome to another lecture of our Excel course. In common with all other layouts, constraint layout is responsible for managing the positioning and sizing behavior of the visual components, also referred as widgets here. So it does this based on the constraint connections that are set each child widget like this. This is the constraint connections here. So um, in order to fully understand the constraint layout, it is important to gain an appreciation of the uh, key concepts. These are the constraints, margins, opposing constraints. Actually, let me uh, here. So these are the constraints, margins, opposing constraints, constraint bias, uh, chains, chain styles, GUID lines, groups, barriers, and flow. And in this section, you will learn all of these key concepts here. So let's get started with the constraints here. Constraints are essential essential uh, set of rules that dictate the way in which it, the widget is aligned and distanced in the relation to other widgets. The sides of the constraining constraints layout and special element called GUID lines here. So constraints also dictate how the user interface layout of an activity will respond to changes in device orientation or when displayed on the uh, device differing uh, screen sizes in order to make adequately configured a widget must be have sufficient constraint connections such as its position can be resolved by the constraint layout engine in both the horizontal and vertical uh, planes and next we have margins here margins so the margins here we can search it uh, up margins from the margins margins here as you can see here we have several margins here actually let's uh, turn off here so as you can see we have several margins here let's uh, increase here so the margin is a form of constraint that specifies a fixed size uh, for example consider a button object that needs to be positioned near the top right hand of the corner of the device screen so let's actually uh, make it a constraint at the bottom here and add a new button this new button here we can also do it like that so um as i said earlier what if we need the button object that needs to be positioned near uh the top right corner of the device screen like this so this might uh, be achieved by implementing margin constraints from the top and right hand edges of the button connected uh, to con corresponding sides of the parent constraint layout as uh, I will do here. So one, two, this is the top right button, but I want to bit like this. So it will have margin here. So we, we can also drag and drop it like that. And as you can see the in the layout margin here, it would add the margin top 28 dp and margin end 28 dp we can also decrease or increase the size of the margin here for example in this case 10 dp here would look like uh, this here let's actually here uh, 10 dp margin here would look like this let's actually increase the margin of the here actually constraint layout margin start margin top here 20 or here layout margin can also do it like that 28 dp 32 dp or for example 60 dp here layout margin end it will go left here so as indicated in this uh, screen here each of these constraints connections has associated with a margin value 
dictated the fixed distances of the widget from the two sides of the parent layout. So under this configuration, regardless of the screen size of the device orientation, the button object will always be positioned at the, here in this case, uh, let's say the 40 or 56 uh, device indexes pixels. In this case, DP here, DP here means, let's actually write it down here, DP means device, device indexed uh, or device pixels here or device independent pixels in dependent pixels this dp here means device independent pixels here uh, so uh, this is the DP from the top and the right hand edges of the parent constraint layout. This basically was the specified by the two constraints connections as you can see here. So we only have the two constraints connections here, the top and right here. So while the configuration will acceptable for some situation, it doesn't provide any flexibility in terms of loving the constraint layout in engines to adapt the position of the widget in order to respond to the device rotation and the support screens of different size. So to add, add this responsiveness to the layout, if it's necessary to implementing opposite constraints, we need to do opposite constraints. So uh, here we, in this here now, we're gonna learn about the opposite constraints here. But, but let, first let me check the lecture time here. Yeah, it's almost six, seven minutes. So opposite constraints. Um, the opposite constraints, there are the two constraints operate, operating along the same axis on the single widget are referred as opposing constraints. So in other words, a widget from the constraints on both its left and right sides of the considering to have horizontally opposing constraints here, for example, in this case, this is named the opposing constraints here, opposing constraints. This is named opposing opposing constraints. This is the opposing constraints that uh, a widget with a both left and right hand sides of considered to have horizontally or vertically opposing constraints is named opposing. We, we can create opposing constraints also like this. And this is the also opposing constraints here. So uh, the key point of to understand here that is once opposing constraints are implemented on a particular axis, the positioning of the widget becomes percentage rather than the coordinate based. Instead of being the uh, at the 20 dp here, as you can see here, or uh, in this case it was a 20 dp, because we we can't assign it any. Uh, DP on it because it's a percentage based here. So, for example, the widget is now positioned at the, we can also 30 here. So, for example, in this case, uh, the uh, widget is not positioned at the 30% uh, of the top or left of the layout in different orientations uh, when the running on a larger or smaller screens, the button will always be in the same location relative to the dimensions of the parent layout. So, and it's now important to understand that the layout uh, outlined in mm, the next lectures has been implemented using not only opposing constraints, but also by applying constraint bias here. And in this lecture, you will also learn about the constraint payouts. So the constraint payouts, so it's now been established that a widget in a constraint layout can potentially be subject to opposing constraint connections. But so by default, opposing constraints are equal, resulting in the corresponding widget being centered along the axis of opposition. So for example, here, uh, we can also do like that. This is the constraint pairs. We can also center this at the top uh, at the center of the screen. So to allow uh, for the adjustment of the widget position in the case of uh, opposing constraints, the constraint layout implements a feature known as constraint bias here. And as you can see, this is the constraint bias here. So uh, the constraint bias 
lost the positioning of the widget along the axis of the opposition uh, biased by a specific percentage in a favor of constraints. For example, here we will uh, set the 80 here, uh, 80 percent and here and 25 percent here. And as you can see, it will how it would like here. So now our constraint bias is 70 percent and uh, uh, 25 percent at the screen here. In next lectures, we will learn about the chains and other key concepts of constraint layout. So I'm waiting you in next lecture.